Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and California may ban, in ban on communist and government jobs. They're putting forth a bill to end the ban on communist and government jobs. I'm sitting here scratching my head wondering exactly what this is going to do. Lawmakers narrowly approved the bill to repeal part of a law enacted during the Red Scare of the 1940s and 1950s when fear that the communists were trying to infiltrate and overthrow the U.S. government was rampant. Bill now goes to the Senate. Uh, excuse me, what is this going to do? The whole state is packed full of communists and government jobs. I'm not getting this. You know, William Jerry Brown. Communist wacko. You can go through the entire legislature and you probably wouldn't, you know, you might find one or two capitalists in there, but most of them are basically commies anyway. It would eliminate part of the law that allows public employees to be fired for being a member of the Communist Party. Employees could still be fired for being members of an organization saying no advocate for overthrowing govern government by force or violence. The bill updates an outdated provision in state law, says Assemblyman Bob Rob Bonta, San Francisco Bay Area Democrat, who authored, uh, authored the measure. Some Assembly Republicans said the Cold War era law should not be changed. I don't see what the difference is. I guess this uh, uh, has more to do with the uh, rank and file. It has to be. Uh, the rank and file employees, you know, public service sector workers. That's what I'm thinking here. Uh, that whole California government is packed full of communists. Because they don't, uh, they don't have a C after the name, C for communists, they have a D after their names. Well, I guess that's the difference. Assemblyman Randy Vopel, a Southern California Republican who fought in the Vietnam War, the communists in North Korea and China are still a threat. Bill's blatantly offensive to all Californians. Californians, so the Assemblyman Travis Allen, a Republican who represents a coastal district in Southern California, communism stands for everything that the United States stands against. Uh, uh, Mr. Travis Allen, sir, I would respectfully disagree. It's like I said, that whole state government's full of communists. So, uh, I'm sure many of them welcome being able not to have to hide anymore in fear of being fired. I guess politicians can't be fired, but the public service sector people, that might be a different, that's a different situation. Oh, brother. This doesn't change much. I'm out of facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.